Yo, what's up, everybody? Got some special for you. What's going on, everybody? How are we doing today? We got all of the good stuff going on. All of it. What's going on, Mookie and Carlos? And uh, I'm not releasing anything new right now, but uh, I'm going to do a little tutorial. This is one of the things that I want to try to do, and one of the reasons why I am trying to upgrade my computer, because I don't like the setup I have. I really don't. Uh, so let me pop this up real quick, sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh, why didn't this work? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh... Oh, that didn't work. This will work. Yes. Oh, I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh, yeah, I'll show you what we're going to be learning in a minute. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to go over is called the Domico Multiple Shift. That is first. <laughs> then uh, I'm going to ask you guys some questions and we'll go from there. But yeah, hook your boy up with some double back or stuff. Yeah, what's going on, guys? So, uh, yeah, I wanted to try to. Is it not annoying looking up at your monitor instead of looking ahead? I mean, well, I have three monitors here, so I have the one that I'm I have all the chats on or that I usually game on, and when I'm gaming here, all my chats are here. So here I have other things going on, and up there I have my live edit software and all that other stuff. And then my camera's here. I have another webcam here, which is going to be showing uh, my hands, as you can see right here. So this is where I'm going to be teaching this stuff here, like this. See that? But uh, I don't like the quality of this camera at all. I, I don't like it whatsoever. So I want to, you know, change certain things, but to do that, I'm gonna need some help and that's just the truth you know it is it is what it is so before we get to that <laughs> oh you like the angle I want to find out where this is why isn't this working there we go so this is what I'm working for. This is what I'm working towards, to be honest. This right here. Because I want to upgrade this and I want to get stuff going. So throughout the stream, you'll see things popping up and I'm getting texts now and everybody wants to talk to me. And uh, I want to start doing some live stream tutorials too, because this will be a chance where I could teach something and then you can ask me right away. You don't have to ask in the comments and then wait till I get back to you if I get back to you because I see so many comments or, you know, I'm moving on to the next thing. So I thought this would be interesting to try out. And uh, we're going to go into uh, the hands down thing to, to show you what's going on. But, oh man, everybody's already typing in the. <laughs> Have you ever gotten a girlfriend or anything like that using magic? No, actually, it's it's harder to try to hit on a girl with magic than it is to just learn how to talk to them, to be honest. So, 
yeah, just something to keep in mind. All right, so let me show you exactly what we're going to be doing first, and then uh, we can break off and talk about some other stuff. How about how about date? Catch me outside. How about date? All right, so let's go down to the Haynes. And why is that up there now? I want to move this down. I'm move this down here. Bang. Uh, I will probably take the stream down after after this. This I just kind of wanted this to be a a trial thing, a test thing. Oh, John, uh, thank you for your two ninety nine. A don't know, not subscribe. No, I don't know. I thank you for that. So. Here's the here's what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, so this is this is called the D'Amico multiple shift It's an old-school shift. It's not that difficult, but it's a cool way to control cards So let's multiple cards at once. So let's say you have your four aces in the deck like this, okay? I don't know how well you could see that. Oh, I know exactly how well you could see it. Okay, so you just give this some overhand shuffles and That's it and you have all four of your cards controlled. It's pretty simple. All right, so let's go over exactly what is going on here. So I'll do it face up, because it wouldn't matter either way. So you have your four cards, and you're gonna put them in, se in separate places of the deck, but I'm gonna suggest to you that you kind of keep them towards the bottom of the deck. You see I have a big pack up here. All right? So you push it in just a little bit. Now you're going to put your index finger in the front of all of them and then you're just going to drop your hand. I'll try to do this from the side. You're just going to drop your hand and those cards on top are just going to fall. You see that? Now, what's happening is you have a packet on top that's fallen and then you have the four cards. So you're just going to slide your hand up, grab all four of those and the top packet. And as you slide them out, you see you're stripping them out and they go right to the bottom and then you continue the overhand shuffle and that will control your four aces. See that? It's pretty simple. So I'll do it again for you in real time. Okay. Four aces. Four different parts of the deck. Just like that. And you control your aces. Alright, so now that I've covered that, I mean it's super simple. It's nothing crazy. Any questions on that? Oh geez, Alan Rorison. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> but any questions on that now that you've seen it? We're gonna go over a couple other things today too while we're here, but what's up, Alan? What's going on, bro? Nice, I'm doing a live tutorial. Yeah. A uh, Christopher, I uh, thank you uh, for your two dollar adono. Uh, you feel like your hands are too small to do raise rise. Yeah. So there's a woman named Suzanne the Magician. I think she lives in Wisconsin. And I taught her raise rise. She has super tiny hands. And she does it. She can do it. So it's not about... I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. Let me go back to the hands. I'll tell you this. It's, it's not about the hands being up at the top necessarily. As much as having the same position all the way down. So if you bought the tutorial... Uh, I talk about the hand position. Just slide your hand down, and you'll be fine. You can do it. Because it doesn't have to be a super high rise. It doesn't have to come all the way out. It could just be that. That's all you need. You don't need anything more than that, right? See? There you go. Alan Rorison can do it himself. What up, Magic Tricks Live? Oh, Kyle, uh, thank you for your uh, $2 uh, dono, sir. Do you? 
Wow. Ugh, that's tough. So any questions on the D'Amico multiple shift? It's a super simple multiple shift. It's not anything crazy. Uh, Spade, you could you jerry-rig? I could, but that's the thing. I need to buy certain things. So what I'm using right now for this camera, I had to buy a $300 adapter for so that it could work with my computer. For me to hook up another camera, I would have to buy another adapter, another set of cables, and then pop it into the computer and do that. So, you know, I, I want to do that, actually, because I don't like this camera. I think it's terrible, but uh, it's what I got now. Uh, and yeah, the donation meter isn't working because it doesn't pick up donations from uh, Super Chat. It picks up donations directly to YouTube in the link in the description. but. Uh, I could I could update it myself. I just have to retype everything. Yeah, right. Mm, it's pretty terrible. Yeah. Selenium shift or straddle pass. Uh, I mean, it depends. What deck am I using? The, I, you know, I don't even know. <laughs> I know it's a penguin deck. I think it's from their Penguin Live Expos. They just sent me a brick of them, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of the Selenium Shift, even though Chris Severson is a great friend of mine. But, you know, whatever. It's a nice little uh, false shuffle. Make the cards dab. <laughs> All right, no questions on that? No qu You should do street magic? Uh, well, here's the thing. I do close-up magic, and street magic is just close-up magic done in the street. So, it's the same thing. Gotta say, seeing someone do table work is really satisfying. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, man. Yeah, yeah. These are the original ones. Yeah, I, I like them a lot, actually. And since, you know, it's Xavier, I figured, what the hell. Oh, Philip, uh, thank you uh, for your uh, $10 adono. Uh, I, I really wish I could get this to work with uh, everything. Really? Yeah, you do. Lazy bastard. Nah, I, I, I understand. I get it. I'm just messing with you. What the hell is going on? Why is all this stuff closing? Okay. What's up, you sexy son of a bitch? What's up with you? Favorite control that is invisible from most angles. There is none. There is no such thing. What matters most is what they feel about it. So if you really want an invisible control, you have to do a control that's like an open control, like a double undercut. That's an invisible control because, you know, they're looking at it anyway. But in terms of a secret move that's invisible, there's always going to be a tell. So you have to learn how to misdirect to get that stuff going. You know what I mean? I think your pass is kind of funny. You threw in Pandrea's brick pass when it has a completely different philosophy and approach, or is that the point? That is the point. The point is, I have my thoughts on the pass, Pandrea has his thoughts on the pass, and I think everybody should develop their own thinking for their own moves. You know? Oh, did somebody just... Yeah. Fav favorite slight to practice? Uh, I would have to say undertow. I think undertow is probably my favorite, my favorite move to practice. That right there. I, I love... 
I don't know. There's something very satisfying about it when you nail it. Right? So, here's the queen. Here's the king. Right? So, you just kind of pick up the card. Ah, I messed that one up. Let's do that. There it is. Did your dono go through? It was on Streamlabs. Oh, yes it did, actually. Shout out to my dudes also watching this while at work. Let me just re-send that one. I don't know why it didn't come up. That's weird. Huh. I don't know. But, yes, I did get it. Thank you so much. What are your thoughts about Venus Trap? I mean... If you look, guys, here, here's the thing about slights, right? If you like doing the slight, then do it. That's it. You don't have to think about it too much. There's no, there's no rules. If you're just playing with something, you're, there's no way you're gonna learn if you can use it if you don't try it, right? So just go for it. If you mess up and you start to learn that it's not gonna work for you, then you have your answer, right? But the way I do things is not the way you do things, and the way you do things is not the way I do things. So. You know, it's not fair to say this is better than that or, you know, try it out for yourself. Go for it. Yeah. I like that. I like that Marlo thing I just did. So you go like this. All right. All right. It's kind of. I don't know. Alright, so it's here. Yeah, right? I like it. Hey, have you ever hurt yourself or someone else performing? I usually don't do things where other people can get hurt. Uh, I, <laughs> I try to stay away from that very much so. But uh, I have hurt myself many times performing, yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. How did that happen? That is terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> wow. Super leg with the $10 I don't know. I challenge you to create a new trick right on the spot. Oh, I am Listen, I'm not I'm not a thinker like that, you know? I'm not <coughs> The things I come up with take me years and years to work out because uh, I'm very unsure of it for a long time. Uh, but let me see. Let me see what I could come up with. Um, I don't know. I, I would need something to do. You know, like I, I'd need an idea. Give me an idea. something to do with raise raise. I mean, I don't know. I think I've kind of exhausted what I want to think about doing with raise raise right now. You've seen all you've seen all the stuff I do with it, right? Yeah. A can cannibal cards, deck levitation. Actually, you have a deck levitation, a card levitation, right? Yeah, waiting. <laughs> Been waiting, Alan. Yeah. A can. Ah, man. I'm. So, I. Oh God. You guys. How many decks do you have? Too many. I like simple idea. How about Joker appearance that looks fancy? I mean, I could show you one that I do already. 
Uh, let's do this. Let's see. So. Oh, you said a Joker appearance, right? Yeesh. Okay. It's kind of, kind of, are you, are you, I hear like robots in the background. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on? Oh, okay. Alright. Let's, let's see what we got here. This is a really bad angle, but whatever. I'm going to go for it anyway. So, let's do this. Uh, Joker. There we go. There's a fancy Joker appearance. Can you teach the second deal correctly? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't deal with false deals too much. But uh, if I if I had to, I would. Let's let's do this, right? It's just. Uh, I just do a uh, strike second. Yeah. Yeah. What uh? What this? What's so difficult about it? A bottom deal. Well, my. Oh. Yeah. Like the uh, I like I like this deal better if I'm gonna do a bottom deal, right? I just, all right, it's just here. Oh, okay, okay. Huh, interesting. Yeah, uh, cause th this is the way I've always done it, right? Like, yeah, I've never, I've tried doing like push off seconds. I, I don't like them too much. Although, uh, Franco showed me some really nice stuff with this crazy push-off second that I thought was pretty cool. Oh, they can't hear you, Alan. My bad. I forgot to turn on the the other audio. Are you going to make a deck one day? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. One leg. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the donation, brother. How was your lecture at Phantasma? I, I mean, I think it went okay. I, I don't like to answer questions like that because it really depends on yeah. what what everybody else thinks, right? I've got a, a weird problem with lectures as well, where after, even if I've done one and I know in my head it's kind of went all right, I still need to confirm it with the people that booked me. I'm like, is it good? Yeah. You all right? You all right? You right? good? Just to, in the back of my head, I'm thinking I need to make sure they've got what they paid. And yeah. Me at the moment. What grip do you use for bottoms? I use a standard mechanics grip. It's this right here, right from here. Uh, I, I don't like the idea of changing grips. I think I think that defeats the purpose. All right. I'll fully stand behind that statement. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people who they're going to do a, a, a specific trick and then they have to go. Yeah, the one that really bothers me is when they adjust to widen their opening for a bottom deal. This one, the, the master grip. Oh, it really bothers the crap out of me, man. Yeah. Yeah, me too. You're going to guess the three of diamonds is the 14th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Nope. Lose. 14, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, it's a 5. Do, listen to this one. Do you master the... Oh, okay, that's different. I thought it just says, do you know the master gravity half-pass? Uh, a half-pass is a half-pass. A gravity half-pass is the way a half-pass should be done. Uh, for the for some, for some things. But realistically, a half-pass is a half-pass. Have I mastered it? I don't think anybody's mastered it. You know, it can always get better. <laughs> 
but yeah. Do I have to pay for the refills on smoke too? I don't know. Yes, because we're just not yeah. <laughs> what was this? Uh, do you do strike bottoms with the mechanic script? Yes. So here's my mechanic script. All right, let me move this over. And this is where I do my bottoms from. And my hands are super dry, so it's it's a little harder for me. But I'll, I'll, I'll necktie it for you. Have you tried using the O'Keefe's stuff yet? No, I, I won't use anything. Uh, I tend to like it. The only bad thing is after, like, I'll put it on just before I do a gig, and then after the gig, I need to scrub it off my hands. Mm -hmm. So if you leave it on for any longer, like an hour or maybe two at a push, your hands just begin to feel really dirty. Really? Yeah. It's that's not cool. Uh, that's not cool at all. No, no one bad. Uh, what do you think about Madison's marking versus yours? Oh, marketing. And what do you think about all these new effects being the end-all, be-all of magic? And how do you filter... Okay. I'm not going to talk about Madison's marketing versus mine because, I don't know, we had different ideas and... He helped me in the beginning because I, I really didn't understand things in him and and uh, uh, Madison Ramsey, a few people, a few friends of mine helped me out a lot. And works for him, works for you. Yes. Yeah, and it was just a few core concepts that I had to figure out for myself. Um, but as far as the end all be all thing, I I'm sick of it honestly. Like earlier, I saw. A, a trailer for a card trick and you basically have six cards right and you have somebody think of one and then you turn half of them face down in between like this and then you know you go is your card one of the face up ones and they say yeah or whatever and then when you spread it again there's only one face down and it's from a different deck and the rest of the cards are blank. And I mean, it's an okay trick, okay looking trick, you know. But the trailer, holy cow. I've never seen so many damn explosions in all my life. It was, uh, uh, cards are face down. One is different. The best thing you've ever seen in your life. Like, shut up. It's not. It was an okay trick. Is it the end all be all? No, of course not. It's just another trick. I don't get it. I don't get it, you know, and I don't like it, uh, which is why the trailers that I've been doing, I've been trying to be more real with it. I've been trying to be a little bit more artistic. You know, I, I want you to enjoy the trailer, too. I don't want you to just be like, is this a good trick or not? I want you to enjoy the trailer. I put work into it. You know, I care about what you people are looking at. But am I trying to sell you on this being the best thing you've ever done in your life? Of course not, man. And I think anybody who does is, is just a liar. I think it's messed up. I think it's wrong. And we should be a little, a little bit more real with ourselves. You know, what we're doing is cool for a few weeks. And then a few weeks later, everybody forgets about it. Because there's so many things coming out. You know? If it was truly something that incredible... It'd be different when people did it, you know? Where do you sell a trick you, you created? You have to submit it to a magic company. That's where. Or you could put it out yourself. Or you could sell it to Murphy's or to Penguin and it'll get lost in the mix, you know? Or library.com and have it get lost in the mix as well. Yeah, same difference. My friend managed to fool Julius Dean at Magic Live and secretly got his phone number. You should prank call him on live stream. I could talk to Julius Dean if I wanted to. I have no reason to do that. Speaking of, I got your Xavier's Rise last night because you told me about Ray's Rise in your gaming stream. Dope. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Lady and I are planning a trip to NYC. Do you have any food recommendations? Where in NYC are you going? That's what important. Kind of food do you like? Yeah. That's that's important. Do you have any like intolerances? <laughs> There's other information we need to know. Top change tips. Um, so here's an here's some tips for you. Uh, 
I'll Make show you the. Sure they're not looking. Well, whatever. <laughs> I do it. I do it when they're looking. I don't care. No one should care. Yeah. So, attitude is important. I'm not going to get into the whole attitude thing. I'm just going to talk about mechanics. Uh, traditionally, you would see people start with these two fingers, then they would do the top change, and they come back and they would switch fingers. This is probably the worst thing you can do for a top change, right? Uh, then people started advancing a little bit and they would do things like this where they would push off this top card into the other one and, and wipe back and this is similar to what I do uh, I think this is fine, but you just kind of want that. It's kind of like an Umsley count where these fingers don't change positions They just kind of slide back and forth uh, David Williamson does something where he has a, a, a tiny break in between and he kicks the card over with his ring finger uh, that's an interesting idea. Uh, something else I was playing with is to just kind of leave the cards spread in your hand, and as you come up, you pull everything except the top card, which is an interesting idea. I don't know how well it'll play out. I haven't done it too much, but just another idea. But I think one other thing that's important is how your hands are moving. So you'll see people say you start here, and then you come here, and you come back, and you do something with the other hand. That's one way to practice. I think that's okay. But... You know, there's also other gestures you could do. You could do like a, a thinking gesture where you're just kind of doing this thing and, you know, I don't really understand, blah, blah, blah. Something like, like you're just shrugging your shoulders. Uh, or you can grab something, right? So you could just come here and just grab something and do a top change. There's a whole lot of different mechanics and ideas behind using the top change. What's important is you get the move smooth and you time it well. And the timing is going to base on your action. Brooklyn area. Oh, there's plenty of places to eat in Brooklyn. Uh, if you're going to be like around Williamsburg, you're anywhere you go is going to be great. <laughs> so, uh, but let me know. You know, we'll talk privately about that later. Can you teach something else on stream? I have to go for 20 minutes. It's late. I, I did teach. I taught like three things right now. I just realized I threw the volume some top change. I knew that. That what? I just realized my top change is the volume some one. I never knew that. Oh, you kick it out a little bit? Yeah. Mm hmm. That's the first time I actually really looked at what I do and I do. It's just a feeling thing from there. Though. Yeah. Oh, alright, fair enough. It's weird, right? Like. I've got a couple of moves like that that I've not really broke down in my head just now. This would be a good idea to do it, I think. See if there's a way I can cut out any of the fat. See if this works. I think my alerts aren't working. Oh well. Uh, I, I know a question you just read. <laughs> huh? I thought I, a question just popped up and then you made that noise. I was like, yep, I know a question you just read. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see it. Oh, that's a shame because it was a it fit just perfect. I won't be better, don't worry. Oh, do you know Armando Lucero? What do you think about not using gimmicks? I do know Armando, and I I, I don't think anything about it. I, I don't necessarily agree with the idea that you shouldn't use gimmicks. I think I think you're cutting out some great magic that you can do. But I mean, he has his own reasons and he's an amazing magician, so what can you say about it, right? How was the Electra Phantasma? I, I, like I said, I think it went okay, but ultimately it's up to what people think about it as opposed to what I would say about how it went, <laughs> you know? So, I don't know. Do you like working with stacks? Not so much anymore, man. I used to, but I'm lazy. This is going to sound weird. I'm lazy, so I would much rather do sleight of hand than stacks. I don't know. That doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't. Do you know what I recently set up just to have a player room with? What? Psy Stevens. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it's screw it. It's like something I've not used in the past like 10 years maybe. And I thought, I could, I'll set a deck up and I'll see what ideas I come up with. So I'm trying to see how many things I can... Why don't you just use... Why don't you stuff. just use Stay Stack or something? Yeah. Just this way I won't be influenced by anything else. The stacks are and I'll make up stuff and I'll see where... My ideas cross with other people's and we'll see what happens. Interesting. 
Uh, can you give tips on DPS? I can. I'll do that. Oh, looks like my camera shut off. Hold on. Uh, what cam oh. are you using for your dome shot? Uh, it's my old webcam, but it's acting up. I, I don't like it at all. I don't know why it's not working. Have you tried uh, unplugging it and putting it back in again? <laughs> <laughs> Very smart. Have you tried turning it on and off again? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to. All right, I'll have to do it up here because this isn't working. So the, the best thing I could tell you about the DPS is when you're getting the card out, these fingers have to go straight so you get to here right see those fingers how straight they are the card comes back and then you relax if you if this finger if you can't do this right dps is going to be a lot of walking you're going to be doing a lot of uh doing this right like and that's what you don't want you just want to get the card in pull down pinky comes back and you steal out and that's it yeah, that's why I need donuts. I need to. I can't. I tried, man. I tried to give you guys the dope angles and stuff. And I actually spent half an hour setting this up. And now it doesn't look. Now I have extra hands. How does this happen? Jesus. I tried, man. I tried. I'm sorry, guys. It may just be that you're. Whatever tri character you're using just needs to have that item rebooted to reinstall. I know, but I can't do that while I'm streaming. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Right. Did you get like 50 monitors there? Just use one of those for it. It doesn't matter. I, I still have to turn off the stream software to remove all the drivers because it's using them. No, not the drivers. When you, whatever one you're using, remove that camera and then reinstall it. It'll take two seconds. I mean, I could just unplug it, right? Yes. Why don't you shut up, Alan? <laughs> oh fuck! I messed up the whole thing. All right, let's see if this works. Nope. <laughs> it didn't do anything. Nah, I gotta, I gotta reset the software. That's a shame. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> Call the Geek Squad. Yeah. I just gave a bunch of tips on the top chain and shaving. You missed out. I have a show in front of about 800 people coming up, and I am a close-up magician and a mentalist, and I'm at a loss for what to do. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. That is not the thing to say. If you're nope. booking shows for 800 people, you should know what you should be doing. So I was letting that process for a second there. I was like, that can't be, that can't be a serious statement. Yeah. Uh... What, how far away is your show? I mean, that, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. You know, if you're a, you're a close up magician and a mentalist, right? And you need to do a show for 800 people. So what you should be doing is mentalism because that plays for a bigger audience. First of all, unless you're doing close up magic with a camera, just don't use a webcam like I'm using because it's crap. And it freezes, and then and then you end up with this, and and it's like a built-in hands-up thing, like extra. Hand, let me grab the cards, you know, whatever. Um, but that's you know, if if you're booking a show that you're not ready to do, I hope you got time, man. I hope you have time, because you're gonna need to work some stuff out. You need to know what you're able to do. And then you need to put a show together because 800 people are not going to sit around waiting for you to guess. Nope. You need to figure out your timings. You need to figure out everything. So, I don't know, man. I can't answer that. That's. Still, you know a lot of tricks you enjoy magic as a little child or as people who have no idea about the trick. What? I don't understand that question. Still, you know a lot of tricks. Do you still enjoy magic as a, like a child? Or as people have no idea? 
do you still look at magic through the eyes as a lay person is what they're asking sometimes sometimes yeah uh sometimes no i can i can appreciate the work that people put into magic i don't get i don't get fooled as often as i used to oh oh it's it's in like two months it's a variety show and he has a five minute slot okay okay that's completely different <laughs> that is completely different oh um i don't yeah. think there's loads of good five minute bits out there yeah five minutes is just enough time to introduce yourself so <laughs> get on and get moving yeah wow that changes everything though um what is it? Uh, I'm thinking about doing a chair test. Yeah, there you go, chair test, perfect. Any plans to release your sinner effects, Alan? Um, probably not. Bong answer. Charles Nelson, uh, thank you for your subscribe. I don't know why the subs the notifications are not working. The, the funny thing is with this whole sinner thing, people don't realize what sinner and saint mean during my Instagram videos? Well, of course not, because then the next picture is a picture of a kitty cat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's got, uh, dude, it's going to be a proper, like, child soon. It's going to be, like, a month or so, or it's just going to be kid pics. Um, if, it's, if it says sinner in front of a video, it means what I'm doing uses a gimmick. If it says same, it means it's gimmickless. 52 ways. Thank you for your subscribe, bro. Appreciate you. Can you give top shot tips? Not really. I don't really I'm not really good at the top shot. Keep up the great work, Mr. Spade. Big love for you in England. Thank you, Dan Edwards. I appreciate it, man. I really, really do. I really uh, do. Is top, sh top shot the Leonard Green thing? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do a video for you guys for that as well. Um, I've got mm -hmm. a, a weird way to do it because of the hand size, so it may help some people. Chan Sila May says, "Say hi to Alan for me." So I did it. Bang. Hello. Hi. Hey there. Good. Remember to take the beers. All good. Ask Takumi. Yeah, I could ask Takumi, but I have no real want to do it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I can't. I I tried, man. I tried to do the whole. Can I see? It's frozen. And now the camera won't turn on, and it's really pissing me off. Dude, are you, are you using OBS? I am. I go into OBS. Mm-hmm. In there, remove that camera feed, and then reinstall it that way. And then I have to recrop it and everything, so I'm not going to do it now. That could take you two seconds. No, it won't. You already know what you're doing now. Come on, guys. Trust me, it's not going to take two seconds. Go into it. I'm not gonna do it. It's over. Well, this. Um, listen to me. Listen. Like, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Go in. Click properties on the damn thing. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Then we're in there. Just change your. Just go in. Alan Cam. Just make sure you're not talking about. Uh, go in here. Change to one device. One second. Like so. Change to your other camera in there for a second, and then switch back. And it me. So. Oh, it did. Look at that. All right. <laughs> Alan fix it. Alan fix it. Do, do you remember when I was having all those massive issues with the GoPro? It was the same thing. <laughs> That's <laughs> the reason why I do. Makes sense. Yeah, it's like two seconds later, it will stop again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> I love it. Uh, okay, so oh, now that... Yeah, yay, someone does not spell my name. People misspell your name all the time because they don't know how many R's you have. It's not, no, not even that, not the last name, it's a fucking first name. Oh, 30, 34 L's? Yeah. Well, this, <laughs> this one was way off, this was A-double-L-E-N. No. Oh. Aileen. I don't even know about this, I think that's like Gaelic or something. We want a laser deal. I can't do a laser deal, man. I'm not. I I don't do that stuff. I don't do the Leonard Green stuff at all. I 
think I've only ever seen one other person apart from Leonard Green do it, and that was do it justice. That Asian guy? Yeah. Takumi Takashi. Yep. Yeah. He's a he's a he's a cool guy, man. I really like him. <laughs> Every time I jump in his live streams, he's like, "Oh, I'm so honored you're here watching." I'm like, "Jesus, dude." That's that's a no from me, Jack. What? He's asking if I can look at his new effect that's coming out soon, um, mm. but I, I don't do that kind of stuff anymore. Yeah, that's just a cheap way for people to. Uh, cheap way for people to throw their Instagram up. That's what that is. Think I don't know? You think I don't know? Join Richard Beller's live stream for a minute through Skype. He's at the risk of falling asleep. Who's Richard Beller's? Um. Is this a YouTuber or something? Xavier. Uh huh. It's Facebook. It's on Facebook? No, no, uh, go your messages. Oh, okay. You're welcome. Got it. Got it. Too. Or some tricks you love. Um, and he was and he was on Penitor's Fourth? Uh yeah, he was on the episode I was on, the first one. Oh wow. Although he wasn't there in the shit day for me. It's the Obviously, I can show us who they're putting together. Hmm. Uh, my favorite trick just now is PK touches oddly. Yeah, yeah I can see that. A, I went through a phase of that. Don't know why. Be, yo, X, it would be great if you could come down to M. Come down to M. All right, I'll try to get down to M, wherever M is. The next five, ten years, I'm going to look after my family. That's what I'm going to do. That's it. That's my plans. Uh, you have a new live stream, live lecture coming up, right, Alan? Next month at some point, yeah. A live stream or penguin? Penguin thing? Uh, Murphy's. Murphy's, yeah. This will be the last of those sort of lecture videos I do as well. Do they still do live? Uh, that's what. This one was pre-recorded. It's yeah. like it's it's a one-shot take. It's a live take in front of people, but they've just recorded it. Right, right, right. Yeah, but yeah, that'll be the the last lecture. Like video-style lecture for a penguin and Murphy's I do. Hmm. Montreal for meet and greet. Oh, got it. <laughs> Like, would you like to come to M? I don't know. Show us the pass. Oh, uh, don't. You're just going to make me angry at you. What, the pass? Yeah. All right, let's watch. Right. Pass is too nice. There it is. Oh, that was crap. Right, there it is. I love for you to turn and go, yeah, that one was crap. When it was a damn seat better than the boot. You know, <laughs> the people out there. <laughs> I like the cover pass better though. I still think that's the better of the two passes, you know, in my opinion. Right? So. <coughs> Alan my is on my live stream. Yes, he is. My pass sucks, but it works. Holy shit! Magic tutorial. <laughs> do you know who created the pass? Yeah. I do. Uh, Harry Lorraine. You just made a bit of Pepsi come out my nose. <laughs> <laughs> <You> fucking asshole. <laughs> I have a meme to show you. It's like somebody getting mad and then the person goes, yells in Harry Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, the pass was first described by Robert Houdin. Incorrect. The pass was described many times by many different people long before Robert Houdin. 
but there's you know where it came from is so long lost that it, well, it's one of those it moves. It's like who invented the double lift? The pass right. wasn't a magic move to begin with. You have to remember that. It, it yeah. Basically, it was in the corn world first for the gamblers. Yeah. Pass is a secret cut. Correct. I invented it, says Carlos. Well, there you go. If you want to know who invented the pass, talk to Carlos Ortiz. He will tell you. Have a good one, Chella. Peace out, Chillikes. The pass was created by the first male. Oh, cool. All right. I get it. Well, there's a long discussion on that one, Paul. Do you know what the one with the four jokers that turns into the four aces? Are you talking about NFW? It's a packet trick that's for sale. You need to give me cards for that. Can you show the clip shift or teach? I will show it. I will not teach it. It is not my move to teach. So I will not do so. So this is the clip shift. Uh, here. Right. Uh, you do it with the whole deck if you wanted, but it, you know, I don't know. I don't like it. Can you not do it with the whole deck? Oh, you can. Yeah, you can do it with the whole deck, dude. Yeah. I just don't like to. I'd much, I'd much rather use... Uh... And again, people with small hands, I can do it so you can. No. For a reference, from the base of my palm to my longest fingertip, I am five and a dirty. half inches. So dirty. Yeah. Chuck Norris invented the pass. Do a cherry control. All right, do a cherry control. I can't do it. You can't do a cherry control. I just never took. I like the move. I just never took the time to learn it properly. That's a. It's a great move. Oh, I know. It's, it's a beautiful looking thing. I just never took the time, unfortunately. You going to Blackpool next year? I might be lecturing at Blackpool next year. We should do it, man. I'm gonna try and get down for a day. How? Uh, uh, yeah, I could see that. I wouldn't be mad if you didn't know, considering. It's not. It's, it's as much as I'm gonna be able to push if I do. I'll, I'll try, but I don't know if it'll. We'll see. <laughs> Have you seen the new effect coming out by Danny Garcia? Hold on a second. Sorry, guys. Yep, I've seen it in person as well. It's stunning. It looks good. <clears throat> um, Jack, I'm usually at Blackpool. I may not be there next year because I'll have a newborn kid. Okay, so. Um, uh, what was that question? Have you seen uh, Garcia's new thing? This one? <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it for two and a half years. <laughs> Just such a devious little thing. It's great. I'm trying to figure where I put mine. <laughs> I gotta sneeze. Mm, show the trick again. No, I will not. I'll show you what it is. I'll show you I'll show you the box that comes in. Look at that. Isn't it nice? It's so nice. I'll play box. I'm talking about the one where you use one joker, four aces, so five cards in total, and you do a lot of double lifts and stuff. There's a lot of tricks like that. Uh, I don't know which one specifically you're talking about. That is half of Obi O'Brien's work. It is half of freaking Marlowe's work. Yeah. Thoughts on Invisible Thread? Is it worth having? Yeah, you can do some cool stuff with it. I love it. I never leave the house without some Invisible Thread on me. Uh, favorite but, trick without a gimmick deck, raise rise. <laughs> it's my, my go-to, man. 
nice and quick with the thread thing. If you're going to start using it, make sure you have something that doesn't just look like something attached to a piece of string. That's the... Learn something nice with it. There's a bunch of nice ring levitations out there and make sure you learn something good so it doesn't just look tacky. Mm -hmm. That's a pet peeve of mine. I had like f about five guys come up to me at uh, Blackpool going, oh yeah, I do this ring thing with uh, spider pen and they come in, oh I've got this thing, let me show you. And they would show you and it just looks like a card dangling about in a bit of string. Like, yeah, okay, it, it, it is what it looks like. <laughs> You know, funny thing about this Altoids thing, I remember um, Garcia showing me the original product packaging. And I was mm -hmm. like, what What the hell are you thinking? <laughs> it was so bad. It was so bad. I said, please do it over. Please do it over. Oh, I'm so glad he did. Dude, yeah. He's been working on this thing for God knows how long now. Yeah, he, get, he sent this to me like two years ago. And he told me, uh, you know, he's like, play with it, but he asked specifically that I don't show it to magicians. So it's just been sitting in my house most of the time, to be honest, because most of the people I hang around with are magicians. So to keep my word, I never, I never took it out, but I've had it for a while. I look, <clears throat> the mint box is pricey, but it does give you a stupidly fucking clean card to impossible location or build to impossible location if you or want to do that card but, vanish or transpo or whatever dude it's oh, and you good. can still use it yeah what other underground tricks do you have or know about lots but they're underground so that's why they will talk about them. or they're in production and out of respect i won't talk about them yeah yeah is it durable like I said, I've had mine for two and a half years, two years now. Mm. <laughs> this this thing is it just reeks Garcia. The guy's a beast when it comes to this kind of stuff. Yeah. It reeks. That's such a awesome way to put it. <laughs> it does. It's, it's, it's such a good way to it, put it. As soon as you look at the gimmick, you're like, oh that's what I could see. That's, just, that's just, so true. There's just no one else that could have done it that way. That like, is so know. true. <laughs> I and never again, thought of that. That's a full-blown compliment. It's yeah, absolutely. No, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> triumph routine. The best triumph, uh, the triumph that I like the most, aside from Coast of Kimlats, which requires you culling the deck, <laughs> is... It, it, I mean, it does. <laughs> yeah, no, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I do. But if I had to do another one, I would do um, Sid Seagal's Triumph. That one's really nice. For any of you sort of gaff guys out there as well, Joshua J's one from... Is it the Prism deck? I quite like that. I've never seen it. It is... It's gimmick to the hilt, but it's, it's nice. Mm. Actually, you know which Triumph routine I like too? Um, Funner Color Stunner by... Um, David Williamson. That Did the Triumph I still use, do you remember Media Magic from way back in the day? No. They used to have like a YouTube channel and they'd done like little bits and bobs and the guy from that made up a, an in the hand Triumph. No. Um, and I, I, he gave it away for free in his channel and it was just a little set of freebie. I still right. use that to this day. It's my go-to if I'm going to do a Triumph. Hey. Where can we find the Altoids box? I, I think Theory 11's coming out with it soon. Yeah, they'll be out right. with it soon. Yeah. How many decks do you have? <laughs> too, too fucking many. Way too many decks. Dude, I need to get rid of a bunch of mine. Like, just stuff I've collected and sitting there. What about Danny Ortiz Open Triumph? Not a fan of it. Not a fan of too much Danny does, to be honest. Is it just the... This uh, Spanish style of magic that you don't like, or is it... Just... No, it's just Danny. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Williamson's is a color changing deck with a triumph. So it's triumph, then it's a color changing deck. Yeah. What is the name of the channel with the triumph? What? I don't know. Um, it used to be Mayday Magic. 
And they used to have a website, uh, madeymagic.com, I think it was, but I don't, none of it's there anymore, I don't think. Um, which is a shame because the guy had some, he was a beautiful hand, like card handler. Like he, he, you ever like look at some of them that handle cards and it just looks elegant in their hands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just, it just always looks good. He was one of those kind of guys. There was a some, few sites that were out years ago that surprisingly the guys were like really good and then they just vanished. Yeah, I think they'll just <laughs> go for proper lives. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there, like like there was one that had released this trick called um, color fusion long time ago. That was and expert magic. Was it? Mm -hmm. And uh, and I bought it. That was like the first. That was the first trick that I bought that wasn't a gimmick. That guy from a website. Color fusion was a gimmick. What, what was the trick? Was that no the color fusion? It, you had to make the gimmick. Oh, fair enough. Okay. You had to strip yeah. the cards and glue that everything out. That guy was an asshole. I had a, uh, a trick out with him. Oh, yeah? Um, and he I never paid me. Never paid me once. Mm. Oops. Yep. No wonder um, why he vanished. He was a con artist. He vanished without paying anyone. He didn't pay Nash or anyone. I met Nash. He's actually really cool. Really good guy. Did he show you his uh, coin through phone case? I think so. I don't remember. I just rem oh, I just know that so Nash's handling of Color Fusion is way better than the yeah. one that I bought. <laughs> yeah, the, the simpler gimmick one? No, it was just his handling. Dude, the, the one you bought was like it stuck on to the damage. His doesn't use any sticky tape or nothing, it's great. Uh, it does. It, it does. It. Yeah, it does. The one I've seen him do now is, doesn't use any of that. Oh, then maybe he changed it again. Yeah. But the one he showed me does. It was just his handling was way better. Oh, don't don't get me wrong. You still have to make the the gimmick. Right, I'm, right. Trying to work, I'm trying to work this without revealing. Yeah, you still have to split. If that gotcha, makes gotcha. But the other side of it, there's no extras yet. It's just great. Huh. Interesting. <clears throat> well, all right, guys. I've been streaming for a little over an hour. Did the tutorial already. Uh. What do you think of Back in Time by Jay Sankey? It's a great trick. Great trick. Uh, but I'm going to I'm gonna head out of here. I might, sh I might play some games later. But I just kind of wanted to do a quick tutorial. Uh, talk to you guys. I want more, more importantly, I wanted to try out this setup to see if I liked the way this would work. How I would go about doing it. So it's more of a test than anything. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chilling for a bit. Alan, thanks for stopping by. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.